years. I think this year, this will be our most uh, talented group as a whole. Uh, we'll have quite a bit of depth positionally. We can move pieces around. Um, our infield, I feel really good about. Uh, outfielders, got some athletic kids out there uh, that, can, that have good arms, can throw, can run, make plays. Uh, so overall, positionally, feel really good about the depth, uh, about the talent. Uh, behind the plate, we've got Billy Walker coming back, uh, Joe Roberti coming back, and uh, Eric Osberg, who's a freshman that we have some high hopes for. Um, can swing the bat. He's got some tools behind the plate, but Billy will probably be Billy will probably be behind the plate most most of the time this year, um, and uh, and we look to get those other guys some experience as well. But positionally, we we feel good about where we're at. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we got a lot of reps here in Baseball City. We go to the East Windsor Bubble, and it is tough sometimes when you get up at five in the morning. You got to head on the band and. Yeah, head of the bubble at around 6 a.m. and those are long days, but this makes it all worth it, the anticipation. I mean, our first game for the past couple of years now has been, our first time on the field has been our first game in the season, so, you know, our hype level is, it's, it's through the roof right now and we're just itching to get going, itching to get ready. Pitching staff, we have a bunch of juniors. Uh, a lot of the guys that we're going to be relying upon a lot this year will be the juniors. Uh, Gothier, Murphy, McKay, Mellon, Charles, uh, Justin Robarge uh, had a good summer last year, and we're hoping that he'll be able to log some meaningful innings for us. Uh, Austin Barnes had a great, great fall. Uh, John McGinty, so, so those are some of the older guys that we're expecting to be on the mound quite a bit for us this year. Um, and then from there, it's going to depend a lot on how some of these freshmen develop, uh, what roles they can take. Uh, Brian Stepniak, there's a chance David Druin may be on the mound again at some point. Um, so pitching wise, I feel like we've we've got guys that have talent, have ability. Uh, we just need to figure out what the roles are going to be. Um, and that's something that we'll feel feel our way through the first few weeks of the season and hopefully start to have a, an idea of how we're going to use guys, when we're going to use guys by the time we get to the conference games. It's good to have three three draft picks in our in our previous year last year. And I think older guys have learned a lot from them. Um, Sean Newcomb, he's, he's at practice with us uh, every once in a while, throwing and giving us a little insights to what, to what professional guys are doing, maybe give us an edge over other Division One teams in this country. Everything we've been talking about since we got here was expect more. Uh, that's been kind of our tagline uh, since we got in. And uh, you know, last year we, we made the tournament. It was a great step in the right direction for the program. But the reality is, is our goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, so we, not that, not that the America East tournament is going to be a given, but our goal is to, to get to this position where every year we feel really, really comfortable and confident about our ability to get into the America East tournament. And it's all about winning the America East tournament and get into the NCAA postseason. So, you know, I think we, we learned a lot last year. It was great for our guys to get uh, some pressure games in a tournament setting and and know what that feels like. And again, that junior class is really important. We've got a lot of guys in that class. Uh, our seniors that are back are guys that have uh, played a lot of games, have uh, you know quite a bit of uh, opportunities under their belt. So, you know, I, I expect that we'll take those lessons from last year and, and hopefully take another big step forward this year.